Hi everybody, welcome to the first third block of the AI Sticker Maker. So the idea of, of, of the app is to crop things in an image using segmentation models. First we're going to focus on cropping uh, faces and then we're going to uh, crop other things. Uh, this will be cool to make stickers for WhatsApp or other, or other messaging apps. We're going to base our code in this repo that uses the BCNet BC um, segmentation model. And yeah, we're going to use the WSL the Windows system for Linux to prototype the app and then we're going to deploy it in a server. So let's go do that today. All right, so here's me getting the useful part of the repo that I show. I already had uh, some notion of what to do because I already used this code for other project. I want to make a full video about this, explaining all all the stuff. Uh, that's why I'm not focusing on explaining this video. Uh, but I definitely describe if you want to know how all of this works. As I say in the beginning, the first is going to work only for faces, but I want to train other models to curb other things like animals or the whole body uh, in an image. Let me know if you have some kind of idea and I sure will take it in account. Now, uh, first I thought of doing an app with Flutter uh, with this uh, but I have some issues getting the Play Store developer account, so I decided to go forward with the project and I'm going to do first with a web app and then make a, the Android app where I sort out the Play Store developer account. This will be good nonetheless because I will have all the server done and all the stack of the app already implemented and I only need to make the mobile app. I love to make this kind of project because it makes it, it mixes machine learning, web development, and mobile development. But sadly, we are not doing that just yet. But we're going to do that in the future, so that's that's awesome. So now I'm going to explain sort of what I'm doing today and the key parts of the library. So yeah. So right, uh, this uh, function over here, make sticker, is going to be the main function that we're going to use when we get when in the in the server flask. Uh, we're going to import and use this. The this function is going to load the social image, get the fix box. Uh, um, the fix box is this function right here that basically takes uh, an image um, do, and does a, a box around the face. And then uh, we use the segmentation library to segment all the face. That is in this module right here. So face to person maps basically takes an image and makes a person map out of it. Uh, a person map is um, an image with numbers in it, and then we can uh, know the category of that of of the area of that um, of the image, right? So we can see we can tell whether there is a, a the face or the background, the eyes or the hair, all, all of that. Then we have pars parsing to maps that takes that parsing and makes a mask out of it. So basically we, we sort the classes that we want and we don't here, right? <laughs> we, we get rid of the classes that we don't want and we save the classes that we want. So for example, we're going to want uh, all, all the face, so the eyes, the mouth, uh, the skin, all that, and we we are we don't want uh, the background, uh, the neck, and the the clothes, all right? Then when we have the segmentation, uh, we basically then save as a PNG uh, to conserve the alpha channel, and then we we return. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. Return the image. So we can take that image with the Flash server and serve it, serve it uh, in the application. So yeah, going to work on the make sticker now and then in the, and then on the Flask uh, server. So I think I didn't explain myself there, so I'll try to do a better explanation here in post. So first the user comes with a selfie or an image with a person in it. Then first we do the Facebook localization on the face and we crop it. Then we make the parsing identifying everything there is in the face. Then we select the user part and we make a binary mask to then crop the image and save only the face. Now I have some problem here and there. I couldn't work on the flag server today, but that task is going to be for tomorrow for sure. But we have the library working now, so that's great. 
Now in the next one, I'm going to make the flux error and I hopefully I found it to text the app. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And that's what's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.